So there's a huge problem with us creating beats on this machine platform or really any other digital audio workstation platform. Don't get me wrong though, like the technology itself is awesome and the advancements that we've made in music te technology have been really tremendous, but it comes at the expense of our sound as producers because digital workstations are almost like too sterile. They're like too clean, the sound is too perfect. And that takes a lot of character and a lot of rawness out of our mu music. It strips the grittiness out of our music. You know, so when you're using VSTs and like digital samples, it strips that rawness, that character and that flavor, you know, that like emotional energy out of your beat. It makes it a little bit too sterile. I'm a huge believer in adding more warmth and more griminess and grittiness to our beats. It can add a lot to the flavor of our music, um, especially on digital stations like Machine. It can add a lot of rawness and a lot more character and energy to what we're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on over to Machine and I'm gonna show you a few examples that you can utilize to add more character and more flavor, more warmth and more energy to your beats, to take this pristine digital sound and dirty things up a little bit so it sounds a little more grungy and grimy and more interesting. My name is Rob. I'm the author of Machine, the Hip Hop Beatmaker's Missing Manual, the number one guide in the world for machine producers that are looking to understand the concepts and the techniques that are going to take your sound on machine to the next level so that you can make release ready beats. All right, so let's jump on over to machine. I'm going to show you how to get that raw energy into your tracks on machine using two different methods. All right. Okay, so before we get started, I want to apologize ahead of time just to make sure that um, you already know I'm in sort of a an unideal recording situation right now so my microphone might have a little bit of feedback or a little bit of hiss don't pay attention to that basically I want us to get on the same page though before we get started and I want you to understand why this is so important you might be saying why is it important that my audio signals aren't pristine and clean well because our ears are used to imperfect recordings okay before the you know mid 2000s before everything was recorded in the box as they say or everything has been recorded in a pristine recording environment on a computer before everything was mixed on a computer we had imperfect recording situations all right the vocal booths weren't perfect the recording microphones weren't perfect the reel to reel tape machines weren't per perfect vinyl recordings weren't perfect and that imparted as a byproduct of the imperfect technology it imparted a lot of character and a lot of griminess and a lot of emotion to a track and to music that is not being felt today just because everything's really really clean everything's really solid everything's really you know uh too perfect just because in digital situations we're using vsts and and samples there's no process along the way that's going to make our stuff dirty so i like to dirty up things on my own all right so what i'm going to show you is a beat that i have dirtied up and then i'm going to go down and uh after this is after this is completed playing, I'm going to show you the ways in which I added a dirty and grimy texture to this beat and took it to the next level. There's two ways I did that, but first I'm gonna let you listen to what we're working with, all right? So take a listen. So that's enough. You get what is going on. Um, so basically, there are two ways in which 
I created this dirty effect. And there's ways in which I could take it even further if I wanted to. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got working already. The first way that I dirtied up my sound was utilizing utilizing this um, just sort of like a vinyl crackle sound over top the drums. Okay, let me let you listen to this really quickly. There is this fireball sound that I'm working with. I'll play it for you really quickly. All it is is just really a high pitch hiss and I've got it playing at certain points in my drum loop and that adds sort of a texture and a flavor over over top of it that sort of recreates and emulates you know like the real to real imperfections that are going on in a tape machine it just adds a little bit more texture to what's going on so it's not as clean I'll let you listen to it, what it sounds like without that and what it sounds like with it All right, so let's play it with the, vi the fireball sound on top. And really all this is, if I throw on a spectrum analyzer, it's just a high pass, or it's just a really high frequency sound, like some, uh, just a, a lot of high frequency energy that's just sitting on the top of this, uh, on top of this pattern. Let's look at it right now. This is just spectrum analyzer. It's just gonna analyze what information is in this audio signal. So this is this hiss sound. It's going to be a lot of energy up here. So that's where the, the vinyl hiss sound, it's the upper frequencies as you can see between 10 and 20k, it adds a lot of harmonics up there. And when you combine that with what's going on in the drum group, as I'll show you now, throw on the spectrum analyzer inside the entire group so we can see all the frequencies, it's going to create a lot of, uh, it's going to fill out the entire groove for us and make things a little bit more uh, interesting to listen to. So let's listen to this. All right, so that's pretty much what we've got going on. That is the first way that I do things. This is like a fireball sound that I've gotten out of uh, the Idiom Library, which is a really cool library made by a sound design company called Glitch Machines. It's a lot of organic sounds. This is literally the sound of like a fire crackling. Um, and I've just, I believe I've maybe like high pass filtered it and lo-fied it a little bit more. So I've taken out a lot of the low end and added some lo-fi to get some more grit out of it and just layered it on top of everything. And that sort of creates a little bit more griminess in our overall beat. All right, so that's the first way to do things. It's just to simply layer the sound of like a tape hiss or vinyl. You could Google that. There's plenty of samples online of, of uh, vinyl hiss and tape, tape uh, sounds. The next method is to utilize a dirty effects chain as I like to call it and dirty effects chains are basically just about using creative effects to dirty up your audio signal and in my opinion the things that are going to do that are lo-fi distortion saturation and uh, that's pretty much it so those three three plugins are going to help sort of of grime up your audio signal and make things a little bit more interesting to listen to. And we can really utilize that on every sound that we've got in the beat. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna sort of add some more um, lo-fi flavor. I'm gonna add some more griminess to the beat using those effect chains that I just named.
All right, so I'm noticing that applying these audio signals or applying these little dirty uh, effects directly to the audio signal isn't working. So what I'm going to do is set up some send channels. You can go ahead and watch my video that I've made on send channels to sort of understand further what I'm talking about. I don't have time to break it down from the beginning. But basically, instead of applying this directly to the signal chain, we can use send channels to uh, to sort of make the, the sound more subtle. So we'll add the lo-fi, like we said, the saturator and the distortion on their own send channels. And um, basically what that's going to do is allow us a lot more control over the dirty of our audio signal while not losing the original character of the sound as well. So we're just adding a little bit more crunchiness to everything. And we're going to route them through these sounds, right? Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, and just like that, it, it's pretty simple. So uh, just to break down sort of what I did, let me make sure that I've covered everything that I uh, originally wanted to cover. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is to use analog style sounds, analog style plugins and effects to dirty up our sounds. And as you saw, I tried to apply them directly to the signal channel or to the um, audio signal. And that didn't add the flavor that I wanted it to. It sort of took away too much from the original sound. So what I did was set up some send channels instead and just added some subtle, uh, some subtle grit, some subtle distortion and saturation to my sounds. And it sort of adds a little bit more distinct flavor to what we're already working with. It dirties things up a little bit. If you don't already know what distortion is, distortion is basically just adding upper harmonics to our sound and sort of degrading the audio signal a little bit. Lo-fi is crushing the bit rate and adding some bit crushing to the to the sound so it adds a little more hiss and more static and saturation is just essentially just going to uh and it's almost like a a tape effect on our sound so saturators are a byproduct of tape machines so it it adds more of that real to real tape machine flavor especially when you utilize the tape saturation uh effect and it's going to add more more compression, subtle layers of compression and EQ to our sound. All right, so the combined efforts of just throwing on our vinyl hiss, throwing on some more um, degrading sounds, degrading meaning that it's, it's sort of going to grind me up our sounds and make them a little more quote unquote vinyl-y, it's going to add a lot more flavor, more crunch, more distinction to our beats, all right, just by dirtying up things a little bit. It's going to clean up our dirty audio signals, all right? So obviously you are interested in understanding the more advanced techniques to improve your sound on machine. I mean, you've heard my music. You understand that I know what I'm talking about. Well, wouldn't it be awesome if you could get all of my knowledge on machine, all of my knowledge of plugins, all of my knowledge of sampling, of putting together drum grooves, of understanding the machine platform in one simple location so that you didn't have to you know, search around the internet for answers that you're looking for on machine and instead you could get my philosophy just given to you handed to you on a platter so you can understand exactly what i'm thinking and what i'm doing on machine all right well that's possible so if you're struggling right now with machine i want you to grab a copy of my book it's called machine the hip-hop beat makers missing manual it's an 89 page in-depth guide on machine that covers everything on the machine workflow from beginning to end, all right? So from mastering machines, hardware and software, to building great drums, to sampling on machine, to mixing on machine, everything that you need to understand in order to improve your sound and make album quality beats on machine, all right? And here is the great thing. This book is normally 49 bucks, all right? And even at that price, it's a steal, considering that you paid probably 500 or maybe even a thousand bucks for your machine and you know, it's it's damn near impossible to figure out on your own on how to utilize this piece of equipment to make good music, all right? So unlike these other YouTube, there are a lot of beginner-focused YouTube 
videos and YouTube channels out here, and that's fine. I recommend that you watch all of those to understand the machine platform, but this book is a more advanced guide for advanced users who want to understand how to improve their sound and how to make better quality music using the platform. So if this sounds like it's for you, just click the link in the description. You can grab your copy of this book today for $1, all right? The price is normally 49 bucks, but I've I've sort of noticed over the past few years that the more people that get their hands on this book, the bigger my brand becomes, the more people that I'm able to help along the process, um, the better for me, all right? The, the more my name spreads, the more um, recognition I get for the things that I do. So it's a win-win for both of us. So grab your copy of this book. There's no catch. It's literally a dollar. You're going to click the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on the blog, there should be a link below in the text. You're going to land upon a page that looks like this. You'll find out a little bit more information about what's inside of each chapter and what you're going to learn. You're going to quick click this big yellow orangish button where you'll enter your name and your payment information and like i said it's a buck and you'll be up and running with this guide a digital download of this guide in just a few minutes all right so my name is rob i am the author of this book it's called machine the hip-hop beat makers missing manual it's an awesome guide and um subscribe to this channel to keep getting more free information that's going to help you as an intermediate or an advanced machine producer to take your music and your sound to the next level. No baby beginner stuff. You can save that for the other channels on YouTube. I like to focus on the advanced stuff. So subscribe to this channel if you want to continue to learn more advanced concepts and techniques to improve your sound. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.